This is a root cause analysis for a struck utility line. Here's a photo of a major power line that was struck while doing shoulder work alongside a road. In order to prevent reoccurrence, we're going to ask the five whys to get to the root cause. So question number one, what was the problem? A major power line was hit. Why was the power line hit? The operator didn't pothole where he was crossing the existing power line. Why didn't the operator pothole the crossing? He felt that he had followed the blue stake standard when he potholed it and determined its depth on the other side of the road. So why was his understanding of the blue stake requirement and the sunrock requirement incorrect? He thought that blue stakes required us to pothole existing utilities only to determine their depth and location. Once that was completed, he felt that potholing across the street in one location was sufficient. Why did the employee believe that he was following the standard by only potholing in one location? Even though we had a standard, the standard didn't include details that the crew needed to pothole at every crossing. It was incomplete and unclear. What was our countermeasure? The first thing we did is we added the requirement to site docs for our trench inspection. If you look here below, requirement number four, the utility must be exposed at every crossing location. The standard was then taught and emphasized in their weekly meeting to all the supervisors. The standard was then taught in the field on the job. The supervisors then inspected the work to make sure that the standard was being held up to in the field. And finally, the supervisors would celebrate whenever they saw the crew upholding to the standard. Countermeasures or improvements are simply experiments we hope will solve a problem. As we experiment, we look to see if the countermeasure is working. If we hit another line, we need to adjust or create new countermeasures to fix our blind spots and improve the process until the hits stop completely.